ATW presents Sesame Street Show 2018, produced in New York City at Reed's Teletape. Sesame Street. Say, I didn't think anyone else was up this early. I'm always up this early because it's the best time for running. You know, there aren't too many people awake and there's not much traffic. Besides, it's a pretty, pretty time of day. Running is really good exercise and exercise always makes me feel good. You know, healthier and stronger. Ah, and it's fun too. Hey, why don't you come along with me as long as you're up, okay? All right. was great, wasn't it? Say, you want to do that again sometime? Well, I'll be here tomorrow at the same time. So, if you're awake, you can join me, okay? Okay, I'll see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Run! 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 Today, I'm going to tell you about the letter R. R is for rooster. And robber. And rake. It's also for river. And make no mistake, it's even for rowboat. And rocks. And for rain. That causes the robber to go down the drain. Very well. What letter have we learned about today? R. Good heavens. A talking dog. It's a beautiful sunny day. Pick out the stone, shake the clods. The job will get done if we work real hard. Come string the lines and mulch the rows. Plant the seeds with fingers and toes. Come into the garden, it's the early month of May. Come into the garden, it's a beautiful sunny day. Shake the clods, the job will get done if we work real hard. Come string the lines and mulch the rows. Plant the seeds with fingers and toes. Come into the garden, it's a beautiful sunny day. Come into the garden and I know you'll want to stay. Keep the bunnies from the lettuce, keep the crows from the corn. You gotta work hard when you work on a farm. Earthworms digging, rain and sun. Bees carry pollen, help get the work done. The summer months go swiftly by. June is followed by July. Tomatoes get red and the corn gets high. Soon we'll be having pumpkin pie. Come into the garden, it's a beautiful sunny day. Come into the garden and I know you'll want to stay. Gather up the harvest that work for all hands. Sell the crops at our roadside stands. Gather up the harvest that work for all hands. Sell the crops at our roadside stands. Come into the garden, it's a beautiful sunny day. Come into the garden, if you come you'll want to stay. It's a beautiful sunny day. You can see what I'm holding up here, can't you? Well, sure you can. Right. I'm holding up two pieces of bread. One in this hand, and uh, over here, one in this other hand. There they are, two pieces of bread. And they are the same. Same size, right? Same shape, right? Same color, right? Of course you're right. And now... Notice what happens when I pop one piece of bread into the toaster, like this. There it goes. Now, it is down inside the toaster, where it is getting all nice and warm and yummy, and in just a second here, we'll see what happens. There it is, popped back up again. Still the same size and same shape, but now it is different, really different because this piece of bread is still light, while this piece of bread over here is dark. And it is also very hot! Hey, Bert. Bert, the place looks great. You've been cleaning house, haven't you? Yeah, I have. It, it, it looks okay, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wonderful. You, you know why I'm concerned? Because mm -mm. my brother, Bart, is coming to visit today. 
No kidding. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I've always wanted to meet your brother, Bart. Yeah, well, look, he's going to be here any minute now, but I want to oh. go in the bedroom and uh, comb my hair and change into some new shoes. Mm -hmm. So if he comes, could you make him feel at home? Oh, sure, Bert. Hey, okay. uh, wait, wait a second. Uh, how will I know that it's your brother, Bart, Bert? How's that? Well, you see, I've never met him, and so if he comes to the door, how will I know that it's him? Uh, oh, well, it's easy. For one thing, we're, we're exactly alike. You are? Yeah, we're twins. He looks exactly like I do. No kidding. Yeah, no you, kidding. You mean, Isn't that exciting? You mean, you mean he's got the same sort of a pointy head as you do, Bert? And does he have the same sort of little bushy bush of black hair up on top and the same sort of beady eyes as you do, Bert? And does he have the same sort of uh, cucumbery nose here and the same kind of uh, sticky out ears and the same grumpy mouth and the same no shoulders? And does he have the same sort of floppy, soggy arm as you do, Bert? Huh? Uh, yeah, I know. In a manner of speaking, I guess we are both handsome in the same way. Ooh, you both look like that, huh? Yeah, hmm. now, now look, I gotta go hmm. and get ready now. Will you please make him feel at home if he comes? Oh, sure, Bert. Okay. I'll be delighted to. <laughs> oh, that must be Bert's brother, Bart. Now, come in. Good heavens. It's true. Why, he's got the same pointy head and the same bushy bush of black hair. And he's got the same beady eyes and the same sticky out ears and the same grumpy mouth. And he's got the same cucumbery kind of nose and no shoulders and... And he's got the same soggy, floppy kind of arms. Why, you must be Bert's brother, Bart. Yes, sir. Bart's the name and selling's my game. Wah, 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 wah. But I really want to tell you, you must be Ernie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Ernie, I just came into town by way of Buffalo. But next time, I'll take the train. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, I'm a guest. No, you're not a guest. You live here. I'm a guest. Wah, 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 wah. But seriously, where's old Bert anyway, uh, huh? Uh, he's huh? Right, right, he's right, probably right. in there, huh? Uh, okay, no. see you later, pal. <laughs> hey! Bert, your old brother Bart's here. Let's paint the town red. Ooh. You know, Bert and Bart are alike in a lot of ways. But in some ways, they're kind of different, too. Can you name this letter? If you said R, you were correct. Let's say R together now. Ready? R! Fine. Now, here's something that starts with the letter R. Do you know what this is? Here, let me help you to guess. Yes, it's a radio. Hmm, that's a nice tune. My ship has sails that are... <laughs> Okay, now, is everybody ready to play the game? Yeah. Oh, do you want to play with us? Let me tell you how it goes and see if I'm right. You check me and see if I'm right. Okay, Michael? Now, this is what we're going to do. We have a balloon, some paper, a stick, and a tin can. And, a tin can. and what are we going to do? Tell me now, because I forget. Make sounds with them. We're going to make sounds with them, right? We're going to make the sound of a can or the sound of a stick or the sound of paper or the sound of a balloon. But we're going to hide our eyes. I'll first. You're going to go first? Yeah. OK. Now, we're all going to hide our eyes, except for the person making, oh, no. making the sound. Hey, Elmo. Oh, Elmo, you want to play the game, I, Elmo? I want to play, too. OK, you can, you can uh, play. I'm, I am going to hide my eyes, Bob. OK, when we're already at Now, you got to hide your eyes okay. and see if you can tell by the sound I hide my eyes. what thing we're making the sound with, OK? Now, first of all, let's everybody shut your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. And you Put your hands over it. We're going to mix these things all up. Now, I don't know what you're going to use yet. Wait till I shut my eyes. Okay, now they're all down there. The balloon, the stick, the paper, and the can. And you pick one thing and make a noise with it. And we'll see if we can guess what it is. Go ahead. Oh, I hear that sound. Don't anyone peek. No one peek yet. Okay, put it down. Now, open your eyes. What? do you think she used to make that sound? Paper. Paper? 
Right? Paper? What do you think? Did you get that, I Elmo? did not get that. Was that what it was? Yeah. It was paper? Let me hear that sound again. Ah! Oh, you hear it, Elmo? Now I know. That's the sound of paper. The sound of paper. OK, who wants to go next? Justin, do you want to go next? OK, Justin. Now, you can use the can or the paper or the stick or that's it. Those three things, OK? Our balloon flew away. So you can make it with the can or the stick or the paper. Now, wait a minute. Everybody, close your eyes. And no fair peeking. OK, go ahead, Justin. Make a sound. OK, that's a Shut good sound. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. OK, put it down now. OK. What's that? What do you think it was, Elmo? Ah! Uh, Elmo does not know. You don't know? Oh, what do you think, Michael? Do you think it was a tin can, too? What was it? A tin can. It was a tin can? Oh, let me hear. Can. Let, me, let me hear it again. That's the sound. Did you guess it? No. Oh. Hey, listen. Do you want to do one, Elmo? Oh, uh, yes. Elmo wants to do. Oh. Everyone close oh. eyes. OK, turn around. Close Elmo your eyes. Elmo's going to make a noise. Everybody close your eyes. You no close your peeking. eyes. <laughs> OK, here it comes. Oh. No peek. No peeking. What's that? Rope balloon. Elmo. Uh-oh. Elmo squeaked balloon too hard. <laughs> Agua! Thank you. 
How do you do? It is I, the Count. They call me the Count because I love to count things. I, I was just playing my beautiful organ. Listen to the lovely notes. Ah, beautiful. But you know what is even nicer than playing the notes? What is even nicer is counting the notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight beautiful notes. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I play eight notes, they sound like this. When I play them, I can't miss. First I play them one by one. And then I sing them just for fun. La 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 la. First I play, then I sing. But counting is my favorite thing. Counting is my favorite thing. <laughs> Come, let us count the notes together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Oh, what joy! Just can't wait. Everybody, count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Beautiful notes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh boy, do I love counting notes. And you know the wonderful thing about these notes. I can play them and count them another way. I play eight notes going down. I play eight notes all over town. First I play them one by one. Then I sing them just for fun. La 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 la. First I play, then I sing. But counting is my favorite thing. Counting is my favorite thing. Now count the notes backwards from eight. Here we go. Eight seven six five four three two one. 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 Oh, what joy! Just can't wait. Everybody, count to eight. One two three four five six seven eight eight. Beautiful notes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I love counting those eight notes. Counting eight notes is twice as much fun as counting four notes, or four times as much fun as counting two notes, or eight times as much fun as counting. Agua? 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 Agua. 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 El agua mía. A B C. Wait a minute, hold it. Wait a minute. What's going on here? But what, what, what are you saying with all this B C B stuff? What, what are you saying? Here? Oh, hi, Professor. I'm just saying my A B C's. What do you mean A B C's? What's A B C's? You know, all the letters, the oh. letters we spell words with. Oh, you mean the letters? Oh, yeah. Do I do letters? Oh, I know letters. Oh, do I know letters? Gee, Vince, do I know letters? Do you? Do I? I invented them. Are you kidding? You did? Of course. You know the letter A? Yes. I invented that. I made that up. Oh. Yeah, you want to see how I made it up? Yeah. I made like A. See that? Oh, yeah. And then I made a L. L is zit, zit. And then I made a, I made the letter the, And then I made the, the letter, letter Wait, wait, the letter Yeah, I made that up. But I threw it away because there is no word but the letter in it. Oh, I, I didn't think so. I looked all over the dictionary. I couldn't find one in the word. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, but, but if you made up all the letters, you must really know them pretty well. Are you kidding? You want to hear them? Yeah. <laughs> all the letters. All the letters. Here it goes. Okay. Let's see. There's P, and then there's X, and then there's, uh, there's, there's L, and, and there's B, and then there's, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, professor? Right after, yeah. Um, 
uh, Professor. Yeah, please. Look, just, we, we, I'm concentrating here. Don't. This is. I have to concentrate very hard. Mm -hmm. there, I first started with X. X and P. But P and X. First. But Professor, don't you know the alphabet? There's a lot of letters to remember. The what? The alphabet. You, you know, it's a way to say all the letters so you can remember them. You're kidding. Yes. Or you can remember all of them? Yes. Shh, you be there. But why didn't they tell me about this before? I mean, I was all mixed up with quantum mechanics and trying to go. I mean, there's a way to go with sure. But how does it go? Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, tell me what <clears throat> Let's see. A, yeah. B, C, That's right. D, G. E, Bow. F, G, H, I, Bow. J, K, yeah. L, That's... M, yeah. N, yeah. O, P, Bow. Q, There's more? R, yeah. S, How do you like that? T, that comes right after U, R, and you come B, B, W, and a W. X. That's y, where X is. Why? Z. It's because Z. X yes. because Z. That's that's fantastic. You said every letter except yeah. pfft, and yeah. there is no pfft, so right. what's the sense? So you said you that you called the whole alpha the el, 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 alpha alpha alphabet. Alphabet. Yes. That's terrific. Yeah. I, I got a great idea. A well, great idea. You yeah. know what they should do? Before they teach quantum mechanics in school, they should teach the alphabet in school. Yes, sir. I'm agreeing with you. Yes, sir, boy. I'm with you. I should think they should do that. That's what they got to do in school. I'm going to tell you. Thanks, Professor. Gee, they already do teach that in school, don't they? Once upon a time, hundreds of thousands of years ago, before anything had been invented, two cave persons were trying to move a heavy stone up to the top of a steep mountain. Hey, Grover, hey, this here ain't working here. What we need is a basic invention to help out. Okay, I will uh, invent something quickly to help out. Uh, will you hold it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh! Okay, move. be right back. Hurry up. It's heavy. Okay, I have just invented something called squares. See, this here, this is a square, and there's another square over here. I think this will help. Now, when I say alley-oop, you uh, pull it really quickly, like jerk it, and uh, I will push this underneath. Ready? Okay. Alley-oop! Ah. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Now, here we go. Try it. Uh, uh, no, that oh. don't work, Grover. Uh, okay, I'll try another invention. Be right back. Hurry up. This is heavy. Okay, here's here's my other invention. It is called triangle. See, here's there's a triangle. There's another one over here. Now let's try it again. Ready? Ali! Uh, ah. Okay, go ahead now. Uh, ah. uh, no, that don't work, neither, Grover. Oh dear. Okay, just 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 hold hold uh, it for a second. Be right back. Hurry up. Uh, okay. Okay, caveman Biff, I think I got the perfect invention called circle. See? There's a circle, and there's another circle over here with a stick through both of them. Circle. Yeah. Okay, circle. We will try it. Ready? 
Okay, kids, what's this? It's a square. Very good, Mary. It's a square. Come on, Lee, now straighten up. Atta boy. Okay, look sharp. What's this? Triangle. Very good, Leona. It is a triangle. Now, what's this one? Circle. Last one, Holmes, a rotten egg. Can we talk for a second about knees? Uh, yeah. You know where you know what your knee is? Yeah. Where's your knee? Right you know, there. You know what knees do? Look at this. Yeah, they can do that. Hey, you can do that too. Hey, can, can you guys you out there do that? Do that. You doing that? Everybody doing that? Can I can do it with the other with the other leg too. See there? That's my right knee. Let's see your right knee. That's your left knee. Try the other one. That's your right knee, yeah. yeah. Oops, right knee is that one there. I forget yeah. which one is right and which one is left, but that's my right and that's my left. Yeah. Hey, can you, why, watch this. Can you do both of them like this? Can you do that? Can everybody do that? Let's go with the knees. Everybody do the knees. <laughs> that's wonderful. Here are some things that measure. A ruler can measure how wide or how high something is. A scale measures how heavy something is. Measuring cup measures how much of something there is. Hi, 
I just finished making Mr. Montgomery's table leg, and I want to check and make sure it's exactly the right length. So let's see. Check it. Aha, uh -huh. and it's perfect. It's two feet long. You know what this is? You know what I used to check it? This is called a tape measure. See? You know, you could also measure things with uh, a yardstick. You know, you use this to measure longer things. See? That still tells me that it's two feet long. Yeah. And you could measure little things with this ruler. Let's see. Now, let's measure this cassette here. See that? And that is four inches long. It's a great tool. Yep. Perfect. Ridiculous. That is the old-fashioned way. Oscar, what are you doing here, and what are you talking about the old-fashioned way? I mean, using stuff like rulers and yardsticks and inches and centimeters, any of that stuff. Yeah, I got a better way. It's all automatic. I don't have to do anything. Oh, really? Yeah? Well, show me. Measure right. that box over there. This box here? Yeah, yeah. All right. I just have to use my super-duper. Automatic grouch, all-purpose measuring device here. Super-duper sure. automatic grouch. Yeah, here we go. It's being measured at this very moment. Huh? Well, I'm waiting. Two. Okay, it's two. It's two? Yep, it's too long. Two what, Oscar? Two, that's not two inches, that's not two feet, that's not two millimeters, that's not two centimeters, that's not two anything. True enough, but I never said anything about two feet or inches or centimeters, anything. Slimy! That's right. I'm talking worms here. <laughs> See, it's two worms long. Show her, Slimy. One, two. <laughs> oh, Slimy, that's great. Can you measure anything? Oh, he can measure anything. Why, right now, you're probably asking yourself, how far is it from here to Akron, Ohio? Oh, <laughs> Oh, Slimy, don't worry. He wouldn't ask you to do anything like that. I wouldn't? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Woodpecker. 
you. Quiet! Ready to play a little game? Hmm? Okay, good. Here we go. Three of these kids belong together. Three of these kids are kind of the same. But one of these kids is doing his own thing. Now it's time to play our game. It's time to play our game. Can you tell which kid is doing his own thing? Hmm? Well, which of these kids is doing his own thing? Come on now, can you tell me which one? Can you guess which kid is doing his own thing? Hmm? Before my song is done. Hey, how'd you do? Did you guess which kid was doing his own thing? Well, if you guessed this one, then you're absolutely right. Because he's playing football, and the other kids are all playing baseball. So that's the right answer. finished with my picture now. Oh, may I look, Snuffy? Oh, yes, Bird. I hope you like it. Gee. It's, uh, very nice, Snuffy, but, oh. you know, I'm not really quite sure what it is. Uh, could you give me a hint? Oh, Bird, it's a picture of you and me. And we're talking and playing and having a good time, just like we are now. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, um... You see, Bert, uh, look at it. Uh, those are the doors. These are the doors? Yeah. Oh, uh, let me just look at the doors. Why, they look just like the doors. That's, that, that's very good. <laughs> it looks just like the doors. Oh, thank you, Bert. Gee, that's awfully good. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is, I just couldn't see ourselves. I just see the doors. Oh, Bird, uh, you and I are on the other side of the doors. And we're, we're talking and we're drawing and having a good time. Oh, I see. Well, that's a good picture, Snuffy. Oh, thanks, Bird. Uh, can I see your picture now? Oh, sure thing. I don't know if it's as good as yours, but take a look. Oh, Bird, that is wonderful. It's a picture of you and me. And, and, and look, we're taking...
taking a walk in this beautiful woods and, and we're finding all kinds of interesting things like acorns and, and logs with little Gee, animals living you know, in them. And, and I thought it was just a picture that I didn't do very good a of a house and some trees, but Snuffy's ideas are a lot better. He sure has a great imagination. Wow. With a hot cup of cocoa. Oh, and we're both reading our favorite stories. Uh, you're reading uh, oh, Mother, Goose, Mother Goose. And I'm reading Snuffle Stiltsky. <laughs> my favorite. that my old buddy Bert here is asleep. For one thing, he's lying down, which he usually does when he is asleep. For another thing, his eyes are closed. And for another thing, he's not answering me when I talk. So old buddy Bert is probably asleep, but I will check just to make sure. Poke, 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 poke. Note how I can poke old buddy Bert in the stomach and he doesn't complain. Now, when old buddy Bert is awake and I poke him in the stomach, he complains. Hmm. Oh, looky here. Note, note how floppy and soggy like old buddy Bert's arm is. Yeah. When old buddy Bert is awake, he's not floppy and soggy like. So, I am quite certain that old buddy Bert is very definitely asleep. Uh, on the other hand, now. His eyes are open. My old buddy Bert's eyes are usually open only when he is awake. So he's probably awake. But I will check just to make sure. Poke, 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 poke. Now cut that out. See, I was right. He's awake. Ernie, yeah? why did you wake me up? Did I wake you up, old buddy? Yes, you did. See, I was right. First he was asleep. Now he is awake. Ernie, why would you wake me up? Um. Uh, let's see, uh, oh, because I have something very important to tell you. What's that? We well, see, I just looked at the clock. So? It's time for your nap. Ah. Oh, sleep tight. There's an unidentified flying object coming right toward us. Just tell me what it is. It's a circle. Yeah! There it goes. Okay. Great game, guys. You can get dressed now. Oh, no. Look at that. Now what do we do? Pick out your own stuff. Oh, uh, right, Coach. Hey, what the? this oh, doesn't... Hey, this uh, doesn't fit. Oh, this is the brother, wrong, huh? What I trunk? can't even get I, my toe <laughs> bone into this thing. Oh, th what happened? <laughs> I had this suit specially tailored just last week. Hey, I don't fit into my... What? It's the wrong size. Are you dressed yet? Oh, no. I don't believe you two. This is yours, Bird. Here, Elephant, this belongs to you. Elephant, Bird, Bird, Elephant. There. That's better. It's a good thing they can play basketball.
batch and I can go home to supper. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh, hi, uh, you the mail, man? Yeah, I'm the mail, man. <laughs> well, uh, I want to send a letter to my mother. <laughs> what say? Oh, oh uh, I say, I want to send a letter to my mother. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, let me have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here it is. The letter R. <laughs> Ooh, Danny. He's so beautiful. Boys aren't beautiful. They're handsome. He's so handsome. I want to hang his picture up. That's a great idea. I'm going to put it right up by my bed. Are you kidding? I want it where I can see him. This is better, by the door, so we can see him as soon as we come in. By the chair might be better. Or by the closet. Maybe over by the lamp. I know, down here. Maybe here's a good place. Maybe here. No, here. 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 I know, down here. Up here. Over here. Here's a good place. Maybe here. No, here. Here. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Boy, it's hard to decide where to put this. Hmm, and once I get this up, where will I put the other one? I could put it here. No, if I open the door, it'll bend it. Oh. Oh, gee, I wish I could stand back and look at it. I want these pictures to look perfect. Hmm. Hi, Big Bird. Oh, hi, Miss Trump. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Big Bird. Hey, I'm glad you came along. Maybe you could help me. Sure. Well, see, this is a picture of my friend, Mr. Snuffleupagus, drew. And here is a picture that I drew. Oh, they're both very good. My goodness, very, very good. Oh, thanks, Miss Trump. The only thing is, see, I'm trying to hang them up, and I don't know how to put them up because, I mean, I don't know whether this one should go up there, and if somebody could hold them up for me. Well, we'll do that. Sure. We can help you. Here, okay. Mickey. Here. I, I you take that one. All right. Okay. Then I'll step back, and I can decide where they'll be perfect. Okay. Okay, okay Big Bird. See. How's that? Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, Miss Trump. Now, Mickey, try yours right underneath. Like that. Uh, try, uh, try do the other way. Mickey's on top. Okay. That's that? nice. But I think the other, the other way because the littler one looks better on top. The bigger one should be on the bottom. That's huh. that, Big Bird. Are they straight? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Think so. Okay, Big Bird. We'll hold them like this. You get some tape and we'll tape them up. Tape. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, uh, I probably have some at my nest. I'll go look. He's gonna go look. Yeah. Dun, dun, what dun, does that look like? Mm. That's funny. Gee, you know, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't have any tape. Well, get some thumbtacks. Thumbtacks. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, gee. I don't have any thumbtacks. Well, go get a pencil so you can mark the fence where you want the pictures to go. Oh, good idea. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Here's a pencil. It's with got a pencil. A broken point. Oh, that's no oh, good. Oh, no. Big Bird, what about one of the crayons you used to draw these pictures with? And then we can still mark the fence where you want them. Oh, oh, I can't do that because... Those pencils, the crayons belong to Mr. Snuffleupagus. He took them home. And Mr. Snuffleupagus took, took them home, home, you say. Well, do you have any chalk? Chalk? Chalk. Let's see. Rat. No chalk. Oh, there's the phone. The phone. Hello? Has your arm. Oh, hi, Snuffy. Oh. Yeah, Could well, you hold well, both well, of these for a minute? Try. All right, if you hold them. I'll run to Mr. Hooper's store as fast as I can, get some thumbtacks, and we can put them up. Dynamite idea. 
Oh, boy, we'll cooperate okay, now. Yes. Go for it. All right. Please. Okay, yes, Matthew. Oh. Mm. No, no. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. How you doing? Yes. Okay. No, All right. Me. You do? I got that one. Oh, no, oh, you really do? Today? You want to oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you at lunch. All right, I think I got it. Okay. Bye, Smuff. Stay. Hi, guess what? What? Well, that was Mr. Snuff Lubbock on the phone, and you don't have to hold those pictures up anymore because he wants me to take them over to his cave so his mommy can see them. Yeah. Goodbye, big okay. bird. Goodbye, big bird. Uh, thanks for helping. Yeah. Yeah. They're stuck to the wall. How, how did they do that? Where'd they get the text? But, Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters Q and R and by the number 8. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Adios!